Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got one replay in the American Tier 8 Premium Medium Tank, the AMBT. And as you've probably already seen, this replay is not by me. This tank is being driven by an old friend of the channel, a, a man that used to make content on this game before Pre 6.0, and... He still does upload videos every now and then his channel, but he does, uh, he's does he got a channel that does a lot of variety as well. And that is McLogo. And yeah, if you want to go check out McLogo's channel, obviously go check out in the description down below. And he is going to have an absolute cracker in this AMBT. So what is the AMBT? Well, the AMBT is an American medium tank that used to be horrendously slow and now is... Not really that slow. It used to have a 40 km an hour top speed, but it got buffed up, and now it's got a 48 km an hour top speed. It's one of those tanks that I'm just not a fan of. I just, I just, th there's something about it that I just don't like. The gun handling annoys me, the reload annoys me, the mobility used to annoy me, but to be fair, the mobility is not as bad as it was. I mean, you can still make it better, and if you put a traction system on or something like that, you can get up to 52 kilometers an hour, which is not too bad, but you really do want to help the gun handling, because the gun handling is not that nice on this vehicle. It's just a tank that I just don't enjoy, generally. That's just the way it is. I just don't enjoy it. And, yeah. It's got the auto reloading system, which is a fun mechanic to use. It just, it's just the 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 way that they've done it. A lot of the it, well, a lot of the auto reloaders is that their reload is just absolute pure trash, which is a sad, sad time. And the AMBT is one of those, sadly, where the reload is just not quite good enough, really. And yeah, I just and mix that with the poor gun handling and all sorts. It, I'm just not the biggest fan of it. And, and mix that with the old school mobility. I haven't really played it that much since they buffed the mobility because, well, even still, I'm still like, can't be bothered, right? But you can still have some pretty damn nice games in it. And the things that auto reloaders are good at is kill securing. They are very good at kill securing because of the ability to obviously be a burst damager, like with the clip. And the ability to just not have to wait for a full clip to fire the gun. The amount of times that you can secure kill... I mean, the amount of times I've got, like, eight kills in the Basante is mad. And a lot of times I've done eight kills in the Basante and, like, had 1,500 damage. Because I've been driving around going, I just need the reload. And then staring at a tank as it loses all of its hit points and going, well, I may as well just fire and kill it then. You know? Uh, that's the way it always feels with these auto-reloaders. That I always feel like I'm stuck in some sort of bad reload. Even firing the single like the you know the best dpm i can possibly get but it doesn't mean you can't do anything in them, in them like this ambt you can still you're still fully capable i mean the ambt is armor is pretty nice the upper plate is really quite well angled so that tends to ricochet shots the turret armor on around the cheeks and on top is again pretty damn well sloped so again that ricochets a good amount of shots while you are hauled down and i mean it's not awkward when it's hauled down either because you do have nine degrees of gun depression which is lovely there is a problem with the turret though, and if you actually see an AMBT, because granted there is not many AMBTs knocking around, so they're rare. They're a rare beast. If you shoot underneath the gun, there is actually a shot catch in the turret, which is a weak spot. You basically just shoot underneath the gun into a little. You can see like a little divot in the turret between the turret and the hull. That is a weak spot. That is how you undo the armor of the AMBT in terms of its turret when it's hauled down. The Gun on this tank does have 215 penetration on the standard round, 278 on the premium. The premium round is absolutely fantastic. The standard round is a bit... Oof. The, the shell velocity as well on the premium round is nearly 1,500 metres a second as opposed to the 1,300 that the standard round has. The premium round is just flat out way better on the AMBT, and that's kind of sad, really, but it is what it is. And you have 380 metres view range, which is pretty decent as well. Well, it's pretty average for a tier 8 medium tank. And on the whole... It's okay. It's an okay tank. It's like I say, it's just that I, I don't like it. I'm just not a fan of it. It's personal preference, right? I just, I'm not a fan of it, so I don't really play it that often. But like I say, my logo is going to have an absolute cracker. So what would I run in terms of a crew? I run Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Sixth Sense, Trap Mechanic, Situational Awareness, Steady Aim, Snapshot, Run and Gun, and Camouflage Expertise. Camouflage Expertise, because I, I am a medium tank, I do want to try and make my camo just a little bit better. Helps me stay unspotted, gives me more chance to get the reload 
in on this gun to keep the shells flowing. All the gun perks, because like I say, the gun can be a little bit of a troll. I want to make it better in that regard. And then trap mechanic, because again, the tracks are quite big and it tends to get blown off quite often in this tank. And then in terms of equipment, I run the same as my logo does, which is the advanced loader, the vertical stabilizer, or the gun stabilizer, sorry, and optics. Optics to be able to spot for yourself. The gun stabilizer to, again, make the gun as good as humanly possible. And the advanced loader to make your DPM as good as it can be. Because, yeah, well, the naturally, the reload is not not very good and you want to make that better if you can so this game so far mclogo is up to five kills three and a half k damage and the enemy team is up six five it's really confusing having to look at the map in the top left corner it's, it's sometimes weird when you watch other people's setups i probably feel this is how you guys feel when you watch my content sometimes because obviously my logo's got the base orange and blue on and he's got the map in the top left corner i'm so used to it being in the bottom right corner and green and red but throw me a little bit <laughs> just putting that out there but yeah he is currently up three and a half k damage with five kills he wants to get there and get more he's in the awkward situation though that he's run out of standard rounds he's only got two shells loaded which means he's in that like i said that awkward situation where he has to fire both of these rounds and then hope to be able to reload the clip to get the other AP, well, the premium rounds in before the enemy team can shut him down. So he's going for the cap, but what he's realised is the cap is on set, so he goes for the shot into the Hellcat there. And that shot didn't hit the Hellcat? That looked like it should have gone straight in, but he gets really unlucky there that that doesn't happen. He goes for the reload, though, straight away into the APCR, because the quicker he can get this clip in, the better. The Tiger P is in front of him, coming towards him. He really just needs to hold on and get this clip in because you don't want to be stuck in this dreadful DPM. And unfortunately, right there, Malogo does make a little bit of a mistake because he should have just waited. He should have just waited because the Tiger P was coming over. He could have waited an extra, what, second and a half? And he would have had two shots to put into that Tiger P. He wouldn't have been able to kill the Tiger P there, but he could have put two shots into him, put him down to a one shot, and then go out of dodge just like he has. So that's one thing you do have to watch out with out for with your auto reloaders it's just make sure that you know where your reload is because again you could just wait literally a split second longer and then you would have better dpm in terms of your reload status and stuff like that but unfortunately Malogo took a few hits there and now again we're at 5-3 his team is still not looking it's looking worse for wear right the panther 2 gets spotted he manages to snap the shot straight into that panther 2 shuts him down the panzer jaeger of the distance he tries to RBT, rt the shot in and he gets the rbrt shot into the tiger p there securing his seventh kill of the game he's down to 334 hit points which is not a good time because well he can't get shut down by the three tanks left in one shot yet but it's still in the range that he's still a two shot but he's just waiting for his reload to come in so he can go after this panzer now as we all know the panzer is op and it's a little beastie of a tank it's not really one that you want to be taking on one-on-one -on -one with a a and bt if you can help it because that thing will out dpm you very very easily but if you have a clip if you have a full clip there's a chance with good rng that you can kill this guy in all three shots and especially if rng does that he sets him on fire he misses with the second shot he's really got to make sure that he hits this third and final shot to make sure it's going to get the kill on this panzer to try and secure himself the radley walters he's chasing him down with this other medium tank going mine 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 he gets the shot in and he shuts down that panzer for his eighth kill of this game radley walters secured did i hear paul's medal oh the pools is on he's got two tanks left on the enemy team there is a light tank and the artillery once again hoping that we can get all three shells in before he comes across either the artillery or the light tank because we want to have the best DPM, DPM we can have. And there's a possibility, I'm not sure what the artillery is, that the artillery is going to be at least a two shot to kill. And it's an M44, so it's definitely going to be a two shot to kill. It's not going to be a three shot at least. He knows where the artillery is because the artillery fired at him, which is very, 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 very kind of him. It gave, gave him away perfectly. So McLogo is on the hunt. He's after that bacon and as we all know as we all do care about bacon we all like bacon everyone likes bacon we should be after the bacon every single time piggy 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 where are you piggy oh there's it the oh what a snap the rbrt onto the lh lhmtv there 
We'll take that kind of RNG. My AMBT doesn't hit these kinds of shots. <laughs> And he, he manages to get the snapshot there into that LHM TV, securing his ninth kill of the game. Nice that that LHM TV was a one shot there. The M44 has fired again and missed him. So clearly that M44 ran from the corner when he fired the last shell at A2 and has run this way along the A line. Now he's fired at McLogo again and missed. He was in this corner over here at A9. But the M44 is a rapid artillery. I say rapid. It's it's a pretty quick mobile artillery, right? It can get about pretty decently. And that means that it could quite easily be scooting along now, away from Logo, along towards their camper hill. So you just got to clear out the corners and try and, again, it's preempting where something that's quick might be. You've always got to be thinking... Okay, so it fired at A Z A9, A0. There's no point going directly to A9 because the likelihood is you're thinking it's quite mobile. It's probably run away. So we're going to preempt where it might have gone. And you never know. You might catch a glimpse of it and then you definitely know exactly where it is. And that way you can then deal with it. So my logo is on the hunt and the piggy, Mr. Piggy, is running away for his dear life going, no, don't do it. I don't want to die. I'm just a young pig trying to make my way in life. And McLogo was like, no, I want your bacon. But he's not, he's not putting out this bait. This piggy is not putting out right now. And McLogo is struggling to find him. At this point, he could be in the corner at K0 because McLogo's not cleared that corner yet. So he hasn't actually f re realistically gone into the corner, cleared it out, made sure there is no one there. Because piggies do like to hide there. But here we go. The M44 gets spotted. He's been learning to drive from me. He misses the first shot. Makes sure with the second. And this is it. Let's go. Paul's medal. Let's go, McLogo. Finishes off the M44. Gets his bacon. Finishes with the victory there. Top of his team, naturally. With the 10 kills. 5,900 damage. 2.4k base XP. A really great game there from McLogo. Old friend of the channel. Ace Tanker, Devastator, Pools Metal, Pascucci's Top Gun High Caliber. Thank you so much, Logo, for bringing this replay to me. Absolutely smashing replay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. A great success!